Hi, I'm George the Weather Dad, and we're about a week out now for Christmas, and so the big question is, who's going to see that white Christmas this year? But before we get into specifics of what it looks like, let's take a look at the possibility of a white Christmas. This is courtesy of the National Weather Service, and you can see here places that you see white, you're going to have a white Christmas. And that's going to hold true for this year because you do already have quite a bit of snow underground, especially those of you in the Rockies. But uh, Chicago northward, you're looking at about a 50% chance or greater of seeing a white Christmas. Those of us right here in the Ohio Valley, we're about a 25%, one in four to see a white Christmas here. And then of course, the further south you get, the chances become basically nil as you head especially towards the Gulf Coast and unfortunately those of you down in Florida. So these are the percentages. So let's see where we stack up this year. First, let's talk about your Monday. This is your weekly planner and we're gonna be pretty cold here across most of the country. Florida, you're gonna be okay. Texas is gonna be okay. But the most of us here are going to be about normal or slightly below, uh, a little bit below normal. And uh, that would put high temperatures in the upper 30s and 40s right here in the Ohio Valley. And you can see very cold temperatures up across the northern tier of states. By Wednesday, we're starting to see a little bit of a warm up now across most of the country. You see that in yellows and even a few oranges showing up. That puts us in the normal range or slightly above normal. And then by Friday, you can see it continues to expand eastward. Those of you in northeast, a little bit on the cooler side, but most of us are going to be warming up by Friday. So what about Christmas Eve? This is December 24th. Not much change, very cold in the Rockies. The rest of us though, normal or above normal as far as temperatures are concerned. That would put us here in the Ohio Valley somewhere in the upper 40s to around 50. What about Christmas Day itself? We're starting to see a little bit of a change. You've seen some colder air filter down out of Canada in the central plains. Uh, those of us right here in the Midwest, we cool off a little bit, and I'll show you why here in just a second. But again, temperatures, for the most part, looks like it's not going to cooperate for those of us on the eastern half of the U.S. Now, the other ingredient, precipitation. Here we go on Monday, the big storm system you see up in the northeast. That's the one that just wreaked havoc across the southeast and the mid-Atlantic region. There will be some snow flurries here in the Ohio Valley and Midwest and the West Coast. You continue to get walloped. And again, on Monday, you will. Now, by Wednesday, that system in the uh, Pacific Northwest slides a little bit further south. Those of you in California are getting hit pretty hard. The rest of us, though, pretty dry for the most part. And then by Friday, we see a storm system there developing there in the central U.S. Once again, remember the temperatures above normal. Most, if not all of this, will be in the form of rain. Now, this is Friday going into your holiday weekend. Now, as far as December 24th is concerned, it sits out there. It grows a little bit. This area here starts getting colder. We saw that on the temperature map. And uh, that could be some snow there. And on, as far as Christmas is concerned... Most, if not all, this is going to be liquid form. It's going to be rain, possibly even some very strong st uh, thunderstorms down in the state of Florida in the southeast. Right there is that cold air. Well, it looks like you will be seeing some snow there for Christmas. So the bottom line is most of us, unfortunately, will not see a white Christmas this year. Of course, it's still a week out and things could change. I'll be back on Tuesday with another update. Until then, I'm George, the Weather Dad.